Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you the video review of the Samsung RF711 laptop. Thanks to the introduction of Sandy Bridge architecture, there's been an influx of multimedia powerhouse systems to the market. Portable laptops that are more than powerful enough to function as a full desktop replacement. The RF711 was clearly designed in this mold, with enough power to appeal to the multimedia and hardcore gaming fan alike. The RF711 is built around an Intel Core i7-2630QM processor running at 2GHz with 4GB of DDR3 RAM. This is paired together with an NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M video card with 1GB of dedicated DDR3 memory, which takes advantage of the 17.3-inch LED HD Plus screen that has a native resolution of 1600 by 900. As a result, movies, games, and other content play back at a solid frame rate without any hiccups or problems. The system also comes with a 750GB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM, two USB 2.0 ports as well as two USB 3.0 ports, and SRS Premium Sound for media playback. Rounding out the specs of the machine is Bluetooth 3.0 support, a 1.3 megapixel webcam, and a fast start feature to wake the machine up in three seconds from sleep mode. The first thing that struck us was the design of the laptop. The RF711 is about average for most 17-inch systems in its class, and it weighs just over 6 pounds with its 6-cell battery attached. However, it's clearly designed for performance and utility, with its clean lines and control buttons set into a gray plank with chrome accents. The RF711 has a full-size keyboard with a separate keypad, and each key is spaced out enough to comfortably type or play games without fearing that your wrists will cramp up over extended use. We were also pleased with the 17.3-inch screen, which showed off content very well within our tests. Whether we were watching a movie or playing a game, content that was shown on the RF711 looked great. We also found that multiple people could watch the screen from numerous angles without worrying about color shifting or fading from the display, which is definitely good for users that want to show off their system to friends. The color quality and the brightness of the screen were decent in sunlight and other bright conditions. There was some mild washout, but that was to be expected in the midst of a sunny day. Of course, the most important aspect is the performance of the RF711, which was more than capable of handling the test that we ran on it. Whether we were editing and processing videos, running multiple video streams, or playing processor-intensive games, the 2630QM processor handled the load admirably without stuttering or significant problems. Chalk this up to the Sandy Bridge processor demonstrating how solid the quad-core chipset works under load. Finally, we were rather impressed by the speakers in the RF711, which were able to easily fill any room that we were in with solid sound quality. During some of the movies we watched, we pumped the volume up to full, and were quite pleased to find that there was no distortion or other aural mistakes that could complicate listening to music, playing games, or watching videos. While the tonal quality of the SRS Premium sound was strong, the bass was much too thin. No matter what we ran on the system, the low notes came across as hollow and lacking which is a definite contradiction to the website's claims that the speakers would provide enhanced bass for better audio. Not so hot for a machine that's designed and promoted around multimedia. We weren't particularly thrilled about the battery life either. The longest we were able to squeeze from the machine was four and a half hours of playtime, and that only happened once. We managed to get somewhere between three and three and a half hours on average, depending on whether or not we used the wireless or the Bluetooth connection. Also, we really didn't like the amount of bloatware and some of the system utilities that the machine came with. We expected that there would be some pre-installed software on the system. Unfortunately, the RF711 had some extremely annoying programs that kept popping up repeatedly. The Wi-Fi manager in particular was very infuriating, hopping up on screen off and on even while we were doing other tasks just to try to get us to connect to the internet. Finally, the last thing that stood out to us was the hard drive or perhaps we should say the slower speed of the drive found within the RF711. Although the system is being positioned for the hardcore gamer or power user, the drive only spins at 5400 RPM instead of 7200, which would clearly be more in keeping with the demographic Samsung's aiming for. The heat output wouldn't be substantially more with the 7200 drive, and the differences between 7200 and 5400 in terms of increased performance aren't very large, but considering the market that this system is aimed for, every little bit helps. Plus, given that the prices of a higher RPM drive wouldn't be cost prohibitive, it's somewhat surprising to see a lower speed drive in the system. 
we would have even expected a smaller solid state drive instead of something that feels a bit dated. We like the Samsung RF711, but we were somewhat torn about the laptop itself. On the one hand, it packed a ton of power to handle the video, gaming, and media needs of just about any user. This is clearly a desktop replacement system that was designed with the media enthusiast or the hardcore gamer in mind. However, these are the same users that would probably object to the weak sound, uneven battery life, and less than stellar hard drive that this system actually has. We still like the laptop, but we have a feeling that the power users that this system is being targeted for would make some technical changes before they considered it to be their perfect rig. For these reasons, we decided to give the Samsung RF711 a 3.5 out of 5. For more reviews and news on the latest products, as well as coupons and deals on systems like the Samsung RF711, be sure to check out techbargains.com.